you may have noticed that sometimes in my mod, you may have seen these guns right here and one right there, and my helixes seem to have all the upgrades. Well, this was a curiosity when I found in other mods, and in my EverQuest to perfect my mod, I decided to peek behind the scenes to see how the code worked, and I was experimenting, and that's how I discovered you could just plop it in the middle of the actual thing. Like, if you see, it's actually clipping here, but it's also clipping there. These are supposed to be used that way, so they don't clip, obviously. So I was curious in the giant robots mod that you could find on ModDB to see how this worked. And I was looking in the code, and I saw that this is how they, specifically the way that they added this. So I was like, hey, what if I add another thing to it instead? In fact, that's how they added these ones on it, too. I'm Yannis Yanguar, and in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to add a Gatling gun to a random building, like your command center or bunker. And so we're just going to copy some code that you can you can find down in the uh, description below, but also in my modding manual. We are going to replace a place a model on a thing. So first, we're going to need to find our general name. And we're going to select our building. Now let's do the command center. Let's replace my Gatling canning with the Propaganda Towner as an example. Before that, though, let's look at the Super Helix that I made in my modding manual to show you how this code kind of works in a similar way as the building version. So as you can see, the, my Helix had the bunker, and it was able to have the speaker tower at the same time. So really all I did was I just added this code to it. That's just all it is. And then obviously add the code to make the speaker towers work and all that jazz too, but that's a different story. And again, you can find this in the monument manual in the description below. So in our first example, I'm going to show you with the bunker. If you, uh, again, you can find this code in the description below or in the modding manual. Um, you are going to be in the art parameters at the very bottom, but above the placement angle and you're going to just copy and paste this whole entire code and if you're going to notice something is the model so in this case we have the model advanced gatling gun which is my particular thing but if we exchange that model for something else we could potentially put anything we want there similarly in the cane one we have this 3d model draw for the turret the advanced gatling which is originally the regular gatling which is this is in the game normally so if i actually deleted this and that it would go to the regular gatling gun that you see or rather that china can build and in the original giant robot mod you would just copy and paste this whole little bit here it's just that simple and then because this is a, a weapon we would need to create a weapon set for it and an upgrade if you desire and if it was the propaganda tower which we will be adding in a second then you would add the uh, stuff for the propaganda tower in this case the propaganda tower uh, behavior and so we're going to go to our speaker tower and find its model in this case it's going to be the tower and i'm just going to grab the snow one because i'm fun and we're just going to fill in the blank right there just plop it on in and then just give it a save and check it out and now there is a propaganda tower in my command center. It is that simple. I don't know how to move it, so I don't know how to better placement for it or any of that good stuff, but if you figure that out, let me know and I'll add it in. If you have any comments, questions, or any of the modding ideas, feel free to comment them below. Again, you can find this in the, the code in the description below and in the modding manual, you can find all that good stuff. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and maybe if you want to, maybe you can comment an idea because I don't know what I'm doing. Dude.